Welcome to the mechanical universe. I enjoy dealing with stuff, things, average daily things. I like to take them apart, see what's inside, see how they work. And today, I think we're going to do some of that. I think I'm going to take apart a phone, but maybe in a little bit. I have some plans for the phone. Why don't we start with something a little more basic? Ah. A microwave. I have always enjoyed microwaves. They are fascinating things. I was talking to some guys who used to work up on the mountains because microwave is actually used as a form of transmission for signals and for uh, telephone and for other electronics being shot back and forth. And so the, what would happen is they'd be up on these snow-covered mountains really cold, and these guys would be so cold that they'd want to get warm, and they'd actually go over and stand in front of the microwave antennas for a moment to warm up their innards. I'm not recommending this. I'm hoping it really didn't happen, but that's what some of the technicians used to tell me they would do. That's just... Don't do that. <laughs> but microwaves, for a long time, people know and they will warm you up. And they started making microwave ovens to warm things up. Changed our lives. And what's fascinating to me is the microwave has a little processor in it. For the most part, it's just a slightly glorified calculator. The original space shuttle actually had less calculating ability than your average microwave? Oh, cool. If you're taking things apart, this is a gold mine. Sometimes inside of some of the older equipment, they'll actually give you schematics. These are fun. You get to go ahead and look through here. You can figure out what the parts are, understand what some of the uh, uh, symbols mean. Uh, you can see here we got what's called a ladder diagram, talking about what looks like the power and more of an actual schematic over to the other side. Just a little gold mine of information if you want to learn about what's going on. Inside here, we also looks like we have some, maybe some testing instructions. Oh, wow. Oh, neat. All kinds of stuff. Talking about different boards, how to, how to put the handle together, how to take out the insides. Some latches. Oh, wow. This is a little gold mine for someone who wants to learn about how to take something apart. So when you're looking through a piece of equipment, if you can find the schematics, dig them out and look, look at them. They are wonderful. Now, what else is in here? Ooh, there we go. Ah, there we go. We have the hinge. Hang on, I'll be right back. There we go. And look at that. The door. Oh, one of the hinges fell out. There, right there, is the actual hinge pin. And this little piece right down here, this little key-shaped piece, is what keeps your door from overswinging or going out too far. All right. You look right here. That's where she sits, right there. And it keeps the door from going out too far and allows it to stop swinging. Over there. Well, there's got to be a way to get in here into some... Ooh. Ooh, I like it. There's got to be an easy way in. Let's see if this will come off the fun way. Right here. Durability test. There it goes. Going to be a pain, I can tell. Right back in here. Screwdrivers are slippery today. Mmm, cool. They're worried about the tray. <laughs> Got 
got to get rid of those parts that are pesky. They're in the way. Here we go. This is the part that actually has more processing power in it than your, your original shuttlecraft. There's your processor right there. Your little buzzer for the alarm. And you've got what looks like some relays. Oh, yeah, some relays for getting things to work. A couple of switching transistors, some capacitors. Allow it to run. Your actual push buttons for across the front. Let's see if we can see what the push buttons look like and how to get into them. Now on this, this has got the little five edges here. There we go. We've got a piece of plastic which actually has put, had copper attached to it and has become kind of a flexible wire. And that's what's going around to the front of this keyboard to go ahead and hang on to the keys so they can get back to the electronics. So there it is right there. That's just a very simple little piece of plastic with metal embedded into the plastic, which is pushed into a little edge connector right there and allows it to speak to the rest of the world in here. There's really very little to this. Let's see if I can get into this. And there's your keypad. In the back of this right here, we actually have the cross lines and the cross wires that will cause this to connect. Where are we at? There we are, right there. All right, you can just barely see them, where you actually have the cross marks of one set of wires that are on the top pad and the cross marks of the other set of wires that are on the bottom pad. And by pushing on those, you connect the top and the bottom wires and you get a switch to happen. And that is the keys to a microwave. Just mounted on a piece of tin. Nothing too spectacular about it. Done with that. And then we can dig in a little deeper. See if we can find some more interesting stuff to look at. It looks like this is a two-layer circuit board from what I'm able to see in here. Oh, no, it's not. It's going out to the, uh, to the actual number pad off the front. Slippery screwdriver today. What's going on with this thing? Maybe I sh shouldn't have worked on a car before I played with this. Bring that out here. For some reason, this thing is warped. And right there, there's the actual glass on the tip of that, which is allowing the numbers to be seen through the electronics. It's just, it's a little vacuum tube. See this right here? That's a little vacuum nub that actually, they suck the air out of here. And then when they, it can work, not totally sure how it works, but it allows it to glow more effectively. But it is actually a vacuum tube type situation. Oh, uh, wow. That's pretty much it. That's the electronics of a microwave. What else do we have in here to be interesting? Ooh, there went the light bulb. Cool stuff. Ah. Oh, here we go. Inside here is a plastic cover. Okay. This covers. Let's see, can we get this somewhere? Or who, who has this? There we go. Right in here, there's an actual device for distributing the actual microwaves inside of the oven. Now, at the moment, I've got this upside down. So this piece right here is actually the top of the microwave. Because uh, so, I'm holding it upside down. Now, there should be a, wa a waveguide right here, which actually guides the microwave signal, which is coming out of right here, back in to deal with your food. And we've got a cooling fan. We've got a transformer for our various voltages. We have all the rest of the interesting stuff that allows a microwave to work. If you get a, if you get a chance, take one apart. They're wonderful little interesting pieces of equipment, and they have literally changed our life. So, let's... Take a look at our next thing.